Did you know that uh, 7 million people have chosen Virgin Media? Um, out of the, the whole country, that's probably not a, a great deal, to be honest. Um, they say that 60% uh, of the emergency services are using them. God help us all. So let's have a little talk about Virgin Media, shall we? Um, this isn't going to be as angry as it is, uh, as it could have been, because I didn't do it at the time. Um, I've had a lot of time to sort of think about it, really. Um, and it's more going to be a story of, of, of what sort of happened. What happened was, um, I got a call uh, um, during the middle of the night, actually. It must have been quite late. It was gone nine o'clock. And it was a guy from Virgin Media who said, uh, you know, you've been a loyal customer um, for many years, since I moved in here in 2005, and it's now 2011, and we'd like to reward you by upgrading your TV. And I said, well, um, I said, I, I'm all right with what I've got at the moment. I said, uh, I don't mind any upgrades, but I'm not going to pay anything extra for them. And of course, then he went on to say, uh, do you use um, a mobile phone? And I said, well, not really. I mean, I've got one, but I, I usually use it when I'm abroad or just for contacting family members. It's supposed to be an emergency phone, really. And he said, oh, he said, uh, we'll send you um, a Virgin uh, um, mobile phone that you can use. And I said, absolutely not. I said, I don't want to... Um, uh, have anything sent to me like that. I don't want to be in any contract. I don't want anything to do with that. Oh, no, he said, it could be absolutely free. Don't worry, blah, 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 blah. And I said, look, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Um, and uh, I put the phone down. Um, the next day, uh, on Saturday the 29th, um, my internet stopped working. Um, they're not brilliant. Um, and I often know when there's a fault in the area because the box that I've got, which is NTL, um, which was taken over by Virgin, I never actually selected Virgin as my provider. I selected NTL, which um, was a good, good institution, which was taken over by, by Virgin. Um, uh, that, that NTL box, uh, it's got a, um, a little light for the internet, and when it's not working because there's a fault with the box or a fault with uh, Virgin, um, the light flashes and quite often that happens every so often and it's I don't know off for maybe a, a day or an afternoon but it comes back on so I thought nothing of it even though the light wasn't flashing this time and that's when I thought you know the internet's not working I'm actually going to have to phone Virgin um, so I started by phoning uh, the line to see if there were any faults in the area and there wasn't so then I started to look on my computer and it said the fault is with a DNS server, whatever one of those is. Uh, the gateway, the default gateway is the box, so I know it's not that. Um, so then I phoned Virgin Media and eventually I got through to somebody who was uh, on, um, in a call centre in India. So Saturday afternoon I spent a good quarter of an hour with a, a woman from India who could barely hear me and, and uh, barely understand me. And I the same with her. And she did uh, um, a, a number of things on the computer which was trying to send me electronic packages to my box to get it to work. Uh, nothing would work and eventually in a sort of last ditch attempt she said look, you have to turn everything off for half an hour, and when you turn it on, it'll all be fine. Um, so we tried that, and that didn't work. So then I phoned again, and, and I got a, a, a second guy, um, and he tried to... Uh, we tried a, a system restore that didn't work. We tried using the command prompts, and he also came up with the conclusion that it was a, a DNS server error. Um, but he said the DNS server is in your computer, it's actually a, um, a, a computer fault, not a technical fault. So we'll hand you over to the computer repair specialists. So he handed me over to a third person, and that third person said, I'm sorry, but he obviously doesn't know what he's talking about, because a DNS server is a server that Virgin uses, um, that, that your computer connects to. So he then handed me back to the technical support, um, 
where I got a guy who said, oh, the problem is your modem, we have to send you a modem, um, and he tried to call to sell me a modem. Uh, that uh, I wasn't going to have, um, so that, that eventually ended that. I think I spent about a quarter of an hour with each of them, so that was an hour on the phone that afternoon, and that didn't work. And uh, so I phoned the line, I said to him, look, there's a problem with my, um, uh, with my computer. I said, uh, I've been to all these different people, nobody seems to be able to help. If it can't be solved by the end of the day, I'm leaving you. Um, and that was probably um, a case of, not, not a case of a, a bluff at all, that was a case of I was going to leave the internet, uh, keep Virgin in terms of TV and phone, and get another internet provider. And he said, uh, he said, he, he spoke to somebody on technical support, and, and I was on the phone for him with him for a good half hour. And he eventually said, look, you need um, uh, 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 another connection, uh, another box, because we don't do boxes anymore. Virgin don't do boxes. They haven't since November, and they started shutting down the service connected to those boxes um, then. Uh, and I said, you know, they don't bother telling you this. So if you're on a box, if you're using a box, and they turn the DNS server off, which is what I understand has happened, uh, then you just lose connection. They didn't bother saying anything, which is very, very annoying. And a terrible custom service. You can't take something away from somebody and expect them to phone you to sort it out if you're the provider. So anyway, I... Uh, I I said, well, you know, can you send me the cable? Because it's only a cable now. It's not really a box at all. And uh, he said, no, that would be illegal in case you weren't able to connect it properly. So I said, well, how long do I have to wait for an appointment? Now, the first appointment he was going to give me was about three weeks um, on a weekend. And I said, look, this will, this will never do. I need the internet. Uh, um, so uh, eventually we, he said, well, we do evenings, we do nights. So um, he gave me one for Wednesday the 9th. Now the window is from 4 until 7, and of course I don't finish work till 5. So I've said to him, you must tell the, uh, whoever it is, the repairman, they can't come round between 4 and 5. It has to be after 5, um, which is going to be annoying. Um, if, if there's a problem with this, uh, in terms of the guy either turning up before 5 o'clock, or... Um, this not solving uh, the problem with um, Virgin uh, Internet, then I'm going to quit the whole company. I swear I'm going to quit the whole company. Uh, and that's a, it, it's a nightmare for me because I can't use, um, I, at the moment I'm offline, I can't do my duty, um, uh, my voluntary work as a senior moderator on Matthew's forum. I can't communicate with people on Facebook and I can't update. Um, stuff uh, and videos on YouTube. Um, I'm going to miss UFC 126. I'm going to miss running the signature competition for that. Um, I am making videos as I go along. Um, so I do still have prediction videos. I do still have weekly blogs. But I'm not able to upload them. And I shall hopefully have to do that all at, all at one time. Hopefully it's going to be the, uh, the 9th of, um, of February. That will have been a week and a half, which apparently I can, if I fill them up, get my money off for, which I should bloody well hope so too.